Today we're talking about knock knock. Uh, I didn't like it. I was hoping this would be a case like last week where I could be really positive. A lot of people were talking about how they really enjoyed this episode. Like I looked through the comments on the uh, on the Who Hub and like Facebook pages asking how people thought about the episode, and the general consensus seemed to be like not spectacular but really good, and I didn't feel it. Granted, though, don't take my word for anything because I didn't actually like watch this episode. Like for at least the first half, my attention was really divided on a whole lot of other things, so I didn't catch a lot of the dialogue in the first half. I feel like I still haven't really sat down and watched this episode, but most of the major stuff is in the back end and a lot of that stuff is what failed dead and you could argue the fact that i wasn't able to pay attention is a mark against the episode but yeah i will get to that it's just very underwhelming and i mean you saw my review on facebook it, it was pretty bad <laughs> a lot of the stuff that you were talking about on the facebook post was not the case gets worried after their friend's been in a room all day they explicitly mentioned like bill's like Are you guys gonna check on him and they're like no he does this like all the time he'll spend like three days alone in his room with his music it still feels a little convenient sure, but it it's explained i know but it still feels a little convenient like the one kid that disappeared for 24 hours is the one that oh nobody's gonna worry about him anyway <laughs> part of this might just be like my expectations because and i feel like a complete fool for thinking this now but when we open the episode with like explaining to bill who the Time Lords are, and something about the setting of a creepy old guy in a creepy old style mansion. I was convinced that this was going to be like a Time Lord episode. Like, because we've got the Time Lords back, I spent the entire first two thirds of this episode thinking, this creepy old guy is a Time Lord. We're finally doing like a really, really way back classic style Doctor Who episode that's just like, it's a self contained episode, but the threat happens to be another renegade Time Lord like the master or the monk or the Ronnie. This guy is like a new Time Lord antagonist. But no, it's just he's the son of the lady who got preserved by weird insects. Did they tell us where the insects come from? Or I mean, I know they're alien, but... I do not know for sure. I don't think so. I think like he found them outside while he was playing and that's it. Okay, uh, what about the twist? The uh, very unnecessary twist. Yeah, I mean like we played for a twist and I'm like why did this have to be a twist? Why couldn't it have just been, oh she's my mom. I've been preserving her all this time from the beginning. What does the episode gain from having her think that she's his daughter? Like, it serves no purpose other than just to be a gotcha. Yeah, for no reason, too. How did she even come to start thinking that was her father? I don't understand that either. I think what the episode wants to be the case, but it doesn't do a good enough job, like, conveying this, is that as she becomes, like, wood, pretty much, and as these bugs keep, like, corrupting her to keep her alive, it, like, screws with her memory person and can barely like recall her old life but like why would he then decide to pretend to be your father what is what difference does that make for her what does he get out of it it makes no sense no not at all and like you said there's they don't betray it is like that she's forgetting all this but it does not do a good job conveying it the one thing that you mentioned also that i do agree with as far as problems goes that Bill wanting to get the doctor out so badly. Like, she says she just needs, like, one corner of her life. Like, on the one hand, I like how much of a clear dynamic they've got going, even though it's only been three episodes. But it's only been three episodes. You've only had a couple of adventures. I understand, especially after Thin Ice, of all episodes, like, her conflict in that episode, she wants, like some breathing room, just some normalcy away from all of that. But I don't know, the way it plays is like, he's just trying to hang out and yeah, he suspects something's wrong with the house, but her pushing him away so much. Maybe when I rewatch this episode, maybe when we rewatch this, it won't feel like it takes up so much time. But just on a first viewing, it feels like we spend three or four scenes on this when it isn't necessary. Yeah, I, I just don't get it. I mean, it's like, okay, she invites him to help her move. It's like, okay, if you don't want him in your 
regular life at all, why even ask him to help you? It feels like we have to have the doctor in the episode, but we want Bill not to want the doctor in the episode, if that makes any sense. It's convenient and he's willing. The roommate? Bugs? They're interesting in theory. Like, there's sort of an out there concept, but not out there in the way that, like, sticks with you. Like, they're glowy bugs that, like, control wood and can make wood eat people it's a real weird idea that you could probably only get from this show but it's not gonna like stick with me no and the room will not be surprised if we never hear from them again no they just seem like this filler extras and everything about this episode is very lacking it's hard to even talk about it i have no idea if this actually holds any credence because facebook's word alone enough to believe this like the old guy was supposed to be the, the character is supposed to be the son of harry sullivan there is nothing in the episode to convey that and if that's the case why why i've heard of that online before I saw this episode but I mean without pre-knowledge of that you have no there's no connection maybe in an older draft maybe in a cut scene but yeah no like I'm not even gonna hold that against it because that's not even part of the episode we reference offhandedly that one has a crush on the other and that never comes into play ever maybe they are going to show up again and they're sort of flat here just to establish them for future appearances but like based on the episode titles and synopses that we have i don't know how you're gonna bring these guys back in or why you would want to the most i could see them doing is bill finds like a new apartment or place to live and they're in the background that's literally the only way they could kind of bring them in they're kind of like the kids for clara they're just kind of there but i mean even the kids i could tell you about artie and angie i can remember their names yeah well they did have like what was it two episodes they were in like we set up that artie was the smart one or at least book smart and angie was just kind of terrible yeah that's only one character trait per kid and these guys have a trait i don't know like Paul is kind of a joker. That's about it. Like, I can't really tell you anything about these people. They're just there to die, very much. Like, I thought this was going to be short, but this might be even shorter than I thought it would be. Like, there's <laughs> just really not much of anything to this episode. We could talk about the, the vault if we wanted to, but I mean... I think we already this, know what's in there. All we say is what everyone else is already saying. It's the master. If it's not the master, that'd probably be the most creative, effective twist that Moffat's ever done. Because it's so obvious. Why are we even bothering to keep it a secret? I, I think it's the master. Everyone thinks it's the master. I mean, there's really not much else to say. I mean, I just, I can't get over, like, my idea for this episode. And I don't want to be like, ugh. I could have written it better, but just, I want to see an episode that was my idea, which is that, like, now that the Time Lords are back, we stumble upon this death trap, this weird adventure that doesn't have to do with a series arc. It isn't, like, the Master or anything big or super emotional. It's just, oh, a Time Lord is causing trouble. We can do that now in this show. Let's do an episode that's that. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, the mansion is his TARDIS and he lures people in there for weird experiments or something i don't know but it it's, would have been really unique in this episode it's just a bunch of nothing i feel like yep there's just nothing there and then you have the cop-out ending where everybody just magically comes back to life yeah like i had the feeling that we were gonna do that be I, I sort of saw it coming but once it happened i was just like ah, i really wish we didn't do this like keeping everyone here dead and having the bad guy and his daughter also die would have been like the one really poignant thing about the episode like we start this episode off with this sort of real upbeat attitude and by the end the doctor and bill are the only survivors that would have been really effective but no yeah and the whole episode actually just felt like a waste of time i mean it kind of really was <laughs> at the end i mean the house is destroyed uh the son and mother are dead they're the only ones who died this is the kind of episode why filler gets a bad name because it feels very pointless and there's nothing that sticks with you this feels like we have to fill out 13 episodes but we only came up with 12 stories like last minute quick right a generic Doctor Who episode and stick it in there. I know that we've said that Pilot and um, Smile were also sort of generic, but there were ideas. There was stuff going on in those episodes that I could latch on to. Not so much with the... We already forgot it. 
I mean, to be fair, again, take every single thing I've I've said with like a pound of salt because I didn't actually like watch the ep- the entire episode with like my brain tuned into the episode. Maybe if I sit down one of these days and like actually pay attention to it, I'll pick up on some stuff. I don't know. It just didn't do anything for me. <sighs> I mean, I did pay attention to it, and I just don't see anything here besides a very generic horror story with an unnecessary twist that makes no sense. Yay! Ah, uh, next video. See ya.